Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Don of AhmedDon.com. Today I'll have another episode of Pixel Tips and Tricks video and I'll talk about pixel stabilization. If this is your first time here, thank you for your support. On this channel, I'm always trying new and different ideas. If that is something you're interested in, please visit for more. If you're only interested in pixel videos, there'll be links in the description box below. So today I have my Pixel 4a 5G in my hand. I'm going to do the stabilization test. And for pixel camera, when you do video, you'll see that there are uh, four different options. And uh, these options are what I'm going to try it out today. So the options we have is standard, uh, which is for light movement, and lock, which is for, uh, you know, it just locks the shot and this is for far away zoom and then active for heavy movement could be such as running and then the cinematic pan uh, which is uh, also like in a smooth uh, panning shots half a speed so i'm going to try one by one and let's start with the standard one so right now i'm going to uh, do the standard and i'm just walking so this is the standard and you might see some shakes uh, because this is you know not heavy stabilization and then I'm just walking right now and then I'm just running a little bit with standard so we can see that how it looks locked mode so right now this is locked mode and I'm going to start uh, running or sorry walking with locked mode and so basically this is just you know to it locks your scene and this is not really for running or walking but I just wanted to uh, show you anyway so if I run with lock mode you can see that uh, this is uh, kind of locking the scene and if I just uh, run a little bit then it's not changing the fixed view so this is what is lock mode it's just like to you know lock something so this is actually not for walking or running and I'm going to stop it and we'll move on to the next one so right now we have the active or active stabilization for heavy movement and the active stabilization is going to be for you know if you are running or walking heavily so this should give you the maximum stabilization and let's change it to active and then i'm going to start recording with active so now it's uh, recording with active and let's uh, do the walking first So you can see that you know this is uh, active mode, and I'm just ha I just have a handheld uh, tripod. It's no gimbal or anything. Okay, so from here I'm going to change the direction and I'm going to start running with active mode and let's see how it works. So this is this active stabilization and this should give you maximum stabilization. So I'm going to just run for a few more seconds. and I'm walking again and if I you know move the camera then let's run again a little bit and I'm walking again so I'm going to stop the active mode right now
So the next mode we're testing is the cinematic pen and this is for pan shot and let's take a look how it looks. Good job, man. Nice run with it. So let's just walk a little bit with cinematic pen. Although it didn't make a difference, but I just wanted to show you how it looks. And you can see that cinematic pan mode. And I'm running a little bit. And let's do the panning again. And these are the four civilizations. So I have no idea from here that you know how they are, whether they're good or bad, because I cannot really you know see the final result. But once I do the exporting, then everything is going to be okay. Guys, I'm recording this part audio clip from home. So after coming back home and watching all the clips on my uh, big screen monitor, I was re really shocked and blown away by the quality of the stabilization I didn't expect uh, the stabilization from a smartphone uh, this type of quality I would say that you know this is very close to GoPro and uh, I was contemplating uh, buying a gimbal for uh, my Google Pixel 4 a 5G but now I'm thinking that you know whether I need to buy or not because if you look at the stabilization when I'm walking and even when I'm running it looks like you know I don't need a gimbal so I'm totally shocked by the stabilization they put in into this uh, phone and uh, this is just kind of you know um, I'm still uh, find it hard to believe that it has this type of uh, good quality stabilization so this was the review of my uh, Google Pixel 4a 5G stabilization and I'll have more uh, tips and tricks and videos on Google Pixel 4a 5G so thank you for watching this video there will be more videos coming up so I'll see you shortly thank you